If you ever wanted to have a magic paintbrush where you can paint on top of things and then describe what you want it to be and then it gets transformed into that thing, well that's kind of the idea behind this kind of prototyping app type thing. Um, so basically the idea is to do AI art inside of augmented reality so you can be able to paint on things and then you can change it. <laughs> yep. So the basic idea is that you capture a depth map, so how far away the things are from the phone. Um, then you can draw on that, so you can ray cast to that, and then the UV indexes that happen at the intersection, so where the ray gets casted to, uh, then you can paint that onto a canvas, and that'll give us a mask that we can then use with the input from the camera, and we can send those both off to stable diffusion, and we can use the mask on top of the image, and then we can send it all back, and then we can reconstruct the image with the new masked out image. And this time we will also mask out what the AI image Images that we created so that that'll kind of help it get meshed more into the scene hopefully um and that's basically the idea so that's what we're gonna go with and there's a lot of extra things you can do with geometry here so in particular i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible which is still very complicated and then also we wanted to try and make it so that uh like you can do a lot of after the fact processing too and i kind of wanted to avoid some of that because it just adds extra complications to things so many different paths to take we're just gonna go with one pick it send it that's it and one of the things that gets a little little bit challenging with this is painting in AR is already a confusing enough concept like are you painting in the middle of air are you painting on top of things so we are going to try and go with the painting on top of things so we're going to try and do depth measurements and then paint on those depth measurements and then use in painting on top of that so that we can kind of do graffiti but then we can use AI art on our graffiti to kind of like add yeah it's gonna be it's, we're just gonna try some things we'll see what works I don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those ones where I definitely want to improve more, but I've been kind of putting off like, like, I, like I haven't been happy with it. So I've just been like putting it on the back shelf, but I should really just put it out there, try and make it better, keep improving. That, that should be my goal. <laughs> And the other thing that I really want to incorporate into this is having multiple users be able to like exchange their like what they are making. So if you have some sort of uh, shared reality and then combining that back and forth, like I think that's my next step. Although that's also really challenging. And I think I have to do some recoding before we get to that point, because right now the code is like a very big math. So I have it up on GitHub. But in particular, there's a lot of uh, extra math that wasn't really necessary. So uh, the code, there's a lot of transformations back and forth. And like I just have to sit down and simplify it all because because like I end up doing transformations one way and then transforming them back. And then um, it's just, it's more complicated than it needs to be right now. And I'd like to fix that. So that's something that I need to work on, but it is working, which is pretty exciting. Um, it is working, which is kind of the end goal that I really wanted to get to. And it also helps me think a little bit more clearly about like this design space, because this design space is really weird. Like it's really weird to be like, you're going to be drawing and then that's going to be transforming that object into like whatever words you give it. And that's like, it's just, it's a confusing on like how you th would like this to be in fact if anyone has any sort of like suggestions about this design space in general i would really love to hear them because it's a really weird like what your expectations of this type of app would be and kind of like what like if you if you had to have a like i really want to kind of like flesh this out a lot more but it's like what yeah I, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of different ways that you can do this and it's like it's really hard to say what's the best way there's also two things that I really need to add into this workflow. So there is control net, which is a new thing that has come out recently. And it just seems to work really well with what you'd want from augmented reality. And then the other thing is this thing called Zoe depth, which is calibrated mono depth. And it looks a lot nicer from first glance. So um, I really want to try that out and see if it works. Uh, yeah, those are the two things that I'm really curious about right now. There's also a huge amount of other things because it's just like AI is crazy right now. And like, it's really hard to keep up with everything. <laughs> That's everything. Thanks and have a great day.